shoot. This is difficult. The dissection process will now begin. Doctor, doctor, doctor. 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 Excellent. Let's begin the let's begin the surgery. Thank you for my scalpel. It's very sharp. Uh, they are Chicago cutlery. Okay. We're in the middle of filming. Now we can start over again. Thanks. It's okay. It's not a big deal. Pardon me. It's doctor. 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 Let's begin the proceeding. Scalpel. Yes. Check. All right. First, we're gonna do the, perform the. We're gonna get this little gross. Stuff. I don't know what this is. <laughs> We're gonna do the uh, lateral incision. Indeed. Zooming in so that way we can get this incision a little more precisely. Excellent. This is quite a precise incision. Ah. Now, as you can see, during the incision process, some of the um, pollen fell off. I don't know if you can see it on my finger, but there's a some yellow pollen, little, little, very, very, very small grainlets. And this is produced by the anther, which I'm about to remove. This is the anther right here, or sorry, this, this little thing right here is the anther. It produces the pollen. This entire thing, is it upside down? Yes. Okay, so this, this little yellow thing on the top is the anther. This entire thing is the stamen. Yes, that is a correct statement. All right, and uh, moving on to the female body part, which I will take over for, we have right here what is known as the stigma. And the stigma is incredible, really, because it is where the pollen is, it's, it's where the plant gets fertilized. Um, and if we were to cut this up, which we will uh, very soon, and get really into the deep depths of the flower, we can see where the ovaries and the ovum is that so ovules are. Um, and so we'll let's, let's show those up first. Mm -hmm. Okay, right, this is a little blurry, but uh, right here is the ovary, yes. and these little this little area right here is the ovules. Yes, yes. And now, if you actually open this up here, there's these little white little seeds. These are actually, uh, this is um, the endosperm tissue. If it was fertilized, this would be called mm -hmm. endosperm tissue. Now, now, inside of the endosperm tissue lies the zygote and the sperm nuclei, which we cannot see. If we could, that'd be really cool. But they're a little, th I mean, as you can see, this, this is very small, and if we just cut it open, it would be even smaller. Mm -hmm. And in there, also, if the plant was fertilized, where would be an embryo? Plant embryo. Plant embryo. Not a human. Thank God. Um, and... From that, out. from that would grow a seedling, which is really just incredible. Now back to the uh, stigma. The this long portion right here is actually just narrow. The, the the pollen goes in this little hole on top, and it goes through this long narrow area, which is called the stot. Yes, it burrows in there to get to the uh, what is known as the ovule, which we just previously showed, which is on the, the this little lump in the flower. It's a fantastic process, and it takes it can take quite some time. It burrows through the style to reach the ovum to fertilize the egg. Now, the reason that this is located at the um, what's this called? Again? This is the the stigma. stigma. The stigma is located above uh, the styles and the anthers is to prevent self fertilization. This is natural selection at work and evolution. You cannot stop biology. Yes. And now that we have finished our plant dissection, we will move on. We're going to do the apple. horizontal dissection. Oh, yes, indeed. So, let's get rid of all these dead plant parts, or they should be dead. Plant genitals, actually. Scalpel? Scalpel. We're now I'm going to make a horizontal precision right above the... Um, it's probably going to actually cut the anthers and stick a uh, stamen. But let's see what happens. Yowza. This is fantastic. As you can see, the um, uh, I don't know if you can see, but here are the anthers and the uh, the stick the stamen have been cut in half. And here is um here's part of the uh, stigma. And the this little tube is the style. Now as we can see right here, or maybe you cannot see, um, 
all of the style. Those styles? Yes. You can see there's a, I don't know if you can see, but there is uh, several tubes. The center one is the style. The rest of them were just uh, extensions of the stamen. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And uh, yeah, so if that you, pretty much let's make, we're gonna make another horizontal incision to show you the ovaries. Look at right here. Now this is the plant ovary. Oh, and this is a fantastic picture from below. As you can see, hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. Zoom out. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. No, go back. Yeah, yeah, these are the um, the plant ovaries. It's very difficult to see the, um, the I mean, I'm gonna try to squeeze some out. If you can see on my finger, the little white specks, those are the endosperm tissue. These are the seedlets, the seeds. Which the, the, the white stuff is the seed coating and also the endosperm. Mm -hmm. That about covers it for flowers. Um, as you can see, we've learned quite a bit on our excursion to learn about angiosperms. And uh, soon we will be proceeding on to the apple, which is the fruit of the angiosperm. The fruit and seed of the angiosperm. Doctor, are you Doctor? ready for the Doctor? next Doctor? Uh, proceeding? Excellent. Okay, so we are going to do. That's, that's different than what we've had before. That's okay. Ooh, that sounded painful. As you can see, possibly on the knife, there's these little brown specks. These are, these are part of the seeds that were actually cut. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a full seed out of here. Here's one. Look on my hand. This is an apple seed. Yes, and here's half of an apple seed. Most of the seed is actually just food and nutrients that have been packed in by the plant, so that way, if the seed, which is actually very tiny, does germinate it will have a good chance to survive before it can do uh, photosynthesis. Yes, this is, this is the, um, also includes the endosperm tissue, the seed coat, which is the, this brown stuff, and the seed itself, which is this the inner white. Yes. Yeah, it's all, very of tiny, tiny, so all of that is really located small. within the seed. Oops, it fell off my hand. Also, in addition, on the apple is the stamen, which is the bottom part, and when the, um, the no, no, they're not the, the stamen? No, the sepals. The sepals, I'm a, I apologize, doctor. The <laughs> sepals, which is right here on the flower, on the fruit. When in the, the fruit is produced, the petals of this, the sepal. sepal fold backwards, fold down, yes. I guess. As is obvious, this is what, this fruit used to be a flower. And we'll show it from a different angle of a previously dissected one. This is what an apple looks like when cut right down the middle. As you can see, the seeds used to be in a circular alignment around the core. Fascinating. And uh, Dr. Jeremy is doing some very intense surgery right now to try and get away and cut at the sepals, which you can't see, and I'll zoom so you can't see. Wow, look at him go. Yeah, this is the inside of the sepal. It's pretty, oh, this, this is the inside of the sepal. You see, here's where the sepal used to be. I kind of just cut at it. We zoomed in, Dr. Jeremy. It's pretty cool, pretty cool biology. In addition to being awesome, apples are edible by humans. Yes, they are edible by humans. And latex gloves are very form-fitting. And Jeremy ripped his. Fantastic. Now let's do my favorite part of the surgery, which is the, uh, let's see, you just kind of Now, of course, we will destroy the apple <laughs> and eat it. Mm, very fresh. Mm. That's right, we're cannibals. Angiosperms are delicious. This just touched flower genitals. Mm. I mean, plant genitals. Plant genitals mm. are flowers. Delicious. Well done, Dr. Jeremy. Good. So, what did we learn? Well, we learned after being kicked out of three stores that people can be jerks when it comes to angiosperms, I guess. However, we did realize that the best place to go to learn about flowers is the Botanic Gardens. Yeah. Also, we learned a lot about the way plants and uh, fruits work and uh, how they are put together by God. I just mean, kidding. Just we're just kidding. kidding. Just kidding. That was a jab at Mr. Stiller. Um, but you cannot stop biology. Boom, though. Boom, though. Boom.